वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रिलियन माइंड आर यू ए इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट लुकिंग फॉर ए जॉब और डू यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज योर जॉब रोल फ्रॉम नॉन आई टी बैकग्राउंड टू आई टी बैकग्राउंड और आर यू इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग टेक्नोलॉजीज देन वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर दिस इज द बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म टू लर्न ऑल दीज थिंग्स सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल brilliant minds and don't forget to press the bell icon hello yes before starting the session let me give you one small introduction about database what are we going to discuss in the database and what is the procedure that we are following to learn complete database with mysql programming language now the topics which we are going to discuss in database is ER diagrams, data types, constraints, commands, operators, keywords, grouping of data, organizing data, functions, subqueries, joins, views, triggers, and normalization. Along with that, stored procedures. Before talking about database, firstly we should know about data. Data is nothing but accumulation of small facts and figures so to brief more about this my name is naresh is that a fact or not yes it's a fact my age is 27 is that a figure or not yes it's a figure and not only this my mobile number my email id my marks everything comes under data because all these things are small facts and figures in the same way each and every person will be having their own data right for example rajesh he has his own data mahesh mahesh also have his own data and rakesh suresh each and every person will be having their own data or not yes or no now let us assume that naresh Suresh, Rajesh, Rakesh, along with them, so many other students came and joined in the university. So, the data of all these students, which will be stored in one place called database. Now, let me tell you the definition of data and database. Data is nothing but accumulation of small facts and figures. For example, name of the student. and age of the student database database is nothing but accumulation of large facts and figures to manage the records for example name of the students in the university and age of the students in the university based on the availability of data we have categorized into three different types structured data unstructured data and semi structured data Now let me start with the first one structured data if you have the data in a predefined format that is called structured data let me give you one small example to understand more about this structured data is nothing but predefined data what is predefined data the data which you already have is nothing but predefined data for example name email id age phone number your aadhar number each and every data you already have this data is called predefined data now the next one is semi structured data semi structured data is nothing but loosely defined structure to store the data now what is this loosely defined structured data loosely defined structure means which is not predefined for suppose in this few things are mandatory and few things are not mandatory i know definitely you didn't get complete clarity on this let me give you one small example now the best example for this is email you know email right in that few things are mandatory and few things are not mandatory 
for suppose if you have to send a mail there is the need of sender's mail id but you need not to mention any subject or content also without having subject and content also you can send a mail in this sender's mail id is mandatory and subject and content are not mandatory this is called loosely defined structured data which is nothing but semi structured data now the third one is unstructured data unstructured data is nothing but there is no defined structure to store the data the best example for this is video file maybe you all will be recording the videos right if you record the video down there will be one graphic moment which will be increasing and decreasing here we cannot operate whether to increase or decrease this is called undefined structure which is nothing but unstructured data now the biggest question is where are we storing this data we are storing all this data in hard disk pen drive computer which is nothing but machines or not yes but before machines are we storing the data yes or no yes definitely we are storing the data where are we storing the data we are storing in the ledgers ledgers we are keeping in the store room that store room is nothing but machine this ledger is nothing but database now by using this database which is nothing but book if you want to take the student details you can go to that and you can take it in the same way if you want to add anything you can add into the ledger you can add in the database if you want to retrieve you can retrieve from the book and you can retrieve from the database also here rather than book the machine will give you the information very fast so we are using database frequently for more applications like facebook youtube almost all the applications hope you all understood the importance of database in the present situation now the next topic is database models database models will give you the diagrammatic representation of how really the data can be stored and managed now to make you understand more about database models let me take one beautiful example let us assume that next week your birthday is there if your birthday is there first thing what you will do you will buy one beautiful dress or not yes to buy a dress where you will go you will go to flipkart there you will start searching for the dresses whenever you are starting searching for the dresses there they will keep dress on one model why they will keep on the model to get one complete clarity how the dress looks simply if they keep the dresses will you get the clarity no definitely you will not get same in the database models also you will get the clarity how the entities are related to each other first of all what is this entity going on definitely you will get complete clarity on entity but as of now what you have to remember is anything which exists in the real world is called entity now to explain about all these three data models let me take one example of shirt to make a shirt what is the procedure that you should follow first you have to design the shirt yes or no after designing you will get one clarity that is called conceptual data model next you have to gather the material fabric what is needed to make the dress for suppose cotton such type of things fabric material this is called logical data model and finally you will bring the shirt into physical existence that is nothing but physical data model now coming back to database models there are three different types of database models conceptual data model logical data model and physical data model now the first one is conceptual data model 
conceptual data model will portray the entity names and entity relationships now we will take one example to understand about conceptual data model first suppose you are a student student is nothing but what one entity you went to one college to take one course there are so many courses like computer science electronics mechanical civil such type of courses you have so many course is also an entity now as a student what you have to do you have to take one course here student is entity and course is one more entity here we are making relationship between student and course what is that relationship that relationship is called enrolls for student enrolls for course this is called conceptual data model now the first step is completed first step means what design of the shirt is completed what is the next step we have to collect the fabric which is nothing but logical data model in logical data model we make relation between entities along with that we will collect attributes primary key and also foreign key first of all what is this attribute attributes are nothing but properties of the entity first suppose if i take the same example student what are the properties of the student student will be having student id student name and student which course he is selecting that is nothing but student course student age student phone number each and every property of the student is attribute in the same way for course also for course what are the properties you will have you will have course id course name these all are the properties of course we are making relation between student and course along with the properties about primary key and foreign key you will get a very good clarity in the next classes now the last step is physical data model in physical data model you are going to give the appearance how you are how you are giving it by creating the tables columns data types indexes by creating all these things you are going to give you the appearance in physical data model this is the final step